so it is December 31st, the last year, day of the year. And like just like every year, I have some resolutions. So I went ahead and got some healthy food because I'm going to do some meal prep tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys what I have. So I got some whole grain bread, some ginger, some vitamin water, pica de gallo, some salsa, eggs, mushroom, avocado, and spinach, and then some turkey ham because I don't eat bacon, and grapes, cheese, shredded cheese, some sun-dried tomatoes, some black beans, feta cheese, cilantro, um, onions, cream cheese, and then some Fuji apple guys. And then I got some skinless and um, boneless chicken thighs and breasts because that's a part of the meal that I'm going to be making. Fruit, some fajita seasoning for the meat, and chicken broth. And then guys, I did, I did get some flowers because I love flowers. Peggy normally gets flowers, but she's not here. So yes, guys, it's just a small haul and I will show you guys what I'm making with this. Okay, so I'm going to be making the first meal with the ingredients or the groceries that I showed from the haul. And what I'm going to do is make um, Mexican like shredded chicken bowl. This is actually a recipe from my cousin. So in here I have some skinless boneless chicken thighs and breasts that have already been cleaned with vinegar. And these are the ingredients I'll be using. Um, and I'll show you guys how I prep that. I also got some avocados. Um, but these will be used like at the end for toppings. So, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up some garlic, onion, a little bit of um, scotch bonnet pepper, and a little piece of ginger to go ahead and add to the meat. So I've cut up all the vegetables that I'm going to add. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one pack of this fajita um, seasoning mix. Guys, I'm doing only a little bit of chicken because this is my first time um, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm not going to put the whole pack because it seems like it's too much for what's here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also add the chopped onions, um, ginger, garlic, and some scotch bonnet pepper. Before adding all this stuff, I did go ahead and poke some holes in the meat like I normally would. Um, and then guys, I'm just going to use a little bit of the chicken broth. This is like a half a cup, just because, you know, the meat's going to already have its own juices that's going to come out. So yeah, just a half a cup is what I'm going to start with and I'll keep checking it to see if I need more. And then the final ingredient that was required was some salsa. Um, and this is like the medium so medium spicy and again i'm just gonna start off with a little bit of this and then watch it as it goes i'm not gonna put the whole thing and then because you know we are jamaican <laughs> i'm gonna add some of my own seasoning and i'm just gonna use add some maggi all purpose because everything needs maggi And then another two ingredients that wasn't called for, but I just feel like it gives meat a good seasoning. A little bit of this, because I did put a whole onion, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of onion powder, not too much. And then a little bit more of the garlic, because I didn't have too much garlic, so I'm gonna put some of this. All right. So this is how inside my crock pot is looking right now with all the meat and seasoning. I'm going to put my lid on and then go ahead and slow cook. Um, this should 
um my cousin said a few hours she kind of when she was here she had it the whole day so this is just a um nice easy you know meal to prep and then i'm going to go ahead and make some breakfast it's actually in the morning so i'm gonna make some breakfast for me and my husband some turkey ham cheese and eggs so yeah guys i will tune back in i'm gonna you know how the chicken is going along but it's just set on low now and then just gonna keep that going throughout the day So guys, this is how the pot is looking after about four, four and a half to five hours. I'm gonna go ahead and try to shred this meat and mix all the ingredients together. So this is how the finished shredded chicken has turned out. And I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with a little white rice. And then I'm heating up some black beans right now. Um, so I'll show you guys, you know, once it's actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in some containers too. Guys, so this is the finished product of the bowl. Tashi has <laughs> nominated herself to be the taste oh, tester. <laughs> so yeah, guys, just, the chicken, we put a little cheese, pico de gallo, and then beans on top of everything. Um, it's good. How much would you rate this dish, Tashi? I'll give it a word of five. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I thought, I thought five. you were good at a ten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So then I'm just going to, this is how it will look, but I'm just waiting on the beans to completely cool down, and then I'll dish it out. So. 